Welcome back to the 18th video in the library management tutorial development tutorial series and in this video I will show you how to save your settings into a text file in the JSON format. So first thing first, first thing that we have to do is download this JSON library as I have explained in the last video download this jar file. I have already done so and after downloading let us add that library into our library section. So add jar bar folder and there is the JSON 2.8.1 and uh, for now uh, I am committing all my tutorial sections into uh, github and you can find these libraries inside the library assistant I mean uh, in the github you can find all the libraries I have used in the lib section so if you are pulling uh, and cloning from my repo you will not have to download it by yourself so it's available uh, I'm sorry I just added the folder Just wait for a moment okay add jar folder then insert lib section i'm going to add the json 2.8.1 so insert this uh, jar file there is implementation for writing and reading the json in json format so first thing we need is we need a public static class uh, that will initialize the preferences during starting of the program so uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to write a public static class so that i can call it even without having the preference uh, objects of public static init configuration so what it does is it will create a new preference object so so public static void init configuration so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a preference class so preferences preference new preferences so I create an object so this object will be having the default values and uh, uh, what we need is we need a json object so json json equals new json so we got a json object so now we can write json dot to write to json so uh, these are the method available for uh, converting an object into json and what we are going to use is we are going to use the method uh, to JSON and we will be using a writer so that we can write the JSON into a file. So let me explain this in the simple format. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this preference object into JSON string using this method. So preference, then I need to write it into a file so that I can use a writer class. So writer writer equal new file writer so new file writer the file writer from java.io and the file writer in say that i can give a file name so for that i am going to create a constant here public static final config file equals let us store it in a file called config dot txt you can uh, give any uh, file name there so public static final string okay config file now we can give that file name here config file and it will definitely throw some exception so we will have to stay in uh, no in the let us put that block in the try catch so surround block with try catch as uh, we got the writer class and we can use this writer class to write the object in your file so that's it what is actually this init config is doing is when you run the program for the first time i mean first time there will be no preference file let's assume there is no preference file so we will call the init config and it will it will create a configuration file with the default values so that's what happening for testing this preference, let us create a standalone uh, main class in here. So library assistant uh, settings. So what I'm going to do is let us go to the main section and there is main.java that is loading the main class. Let us take a copy here and paste it right here. Refractive copy and I'm going to set it as settings loader. So settings loader. Here, the advantage of using this method is you can run a module instead of running a whole 
program suppose you want to run the settings dot fxm I, I, I think i mean you just want to see the settings you can run that settings like this so slash library i mean i am leaving the absolute path la library assistant settings bar settings dot fxml and i'm going to give it as settings and if you run this program you can see the settings without uh, uh, having the trouble to connect into the main and we will do that later so i'm going to run the settings loader run file as you can see we got the settings since uh, this is very good for testing so number of days when we can oh i forgot one thing i want to float these three also so as well then layout properties uh where is the label float label float label float label float so that's it if i run the program again settings loader i'm getting the uh, uh, oh it is not comparable i will have to just a second then let's run file again so as you can see fine per day username and password and it is brought i mean this method is useful for testing just one module in your program so that's not what we uh, yes that's what we want uh, so coming back here the first thing is if we want to check whether uh, it is loaded or we just want to write the settings preference in web file so coming back to the library system there is no conf.txt file conf.txt file so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create uh, from the settings loader section i'm going to create uh, the configuration file so i'm going to call the preferences dot init config so when i call this init config there should be a file created called config.xml uh, config.txt that uh, having the default values so let me compile it again and let me run the program so run file and uh, as i run the program you can see we got the config.txt file here and if i open it with a text editor you can see n days without fine it is 14 fine per day 2.0 username admin and password is admin as i said this is not the way we will store password we will hash it but uh, we will do it uh, once we complete the settings handling section so that's that's fine we are getting the initial configuration now what we want is we want to save the we want to load the settings fxml uh, with the initial value when it starts so coming back to the settings control section what we want is when we lower the settings window we have to display the default values in the fields so for that um, uh, we can create a method init default values so what I'm going to do is just one se just a second uh, let me compare it settings loader what I'm going to do is Sorry, I pressed the debug section. Settings loader. There is an error, so let's see what's the error. Unsupported operation. Oh, sorry, there is an unsupported operation. Sorry. Uh, So as you can see it is loading without any value so what we want is when we click on the settings button we want to display the default settings value so that we can know this is the value that is currently there and we want to make some changes and when we press save we have to save that we want to save that changes into the file so that's it so let us do it uh, you need default values and inside this I will get a preference class object so what we want is we need have to get a preference class object from the JSON file so preferences uh, let me come here we want to read we want to create a method that reads the current configuration from the file and returns the preferences object so public <coughs> static 
preferences get preferences and here what we are going to do is we are reading from the JSON so we are going to create a JSON object JSON JSON equals new JSON and then we will call JSON dot from JSON see as you see, can see we can create JSON I mean uh, we can uh, convert a JSON object into a method using the from JSON method so definitely we are looking for preferences preferences equals JSON I mean the JSON object dot from JSON so we can use this then we need a reader so new file reader can be used and instead of that we can give the config file so what happening is it will read from the configuration file which is the uh, config.txt library system config.txt and returns the corresponding preferences so then we have to define what kind of object we are going to fetch from the JSON string that is definitely preferences dot class so definitely it will throw some error uh, around file not found exception so uh, we cannot throw it surround statement try catch so I want to uh, explain one more problem so what happens if I call the get preferences and there is no config.txt so it will throw some exception that is the file not found exception that is because there is no config.txt file there so what we have to do we have to call this init config method which will create a file with the default values so let us put it here init config then uh, that's it uh, the init config will create a default file there and uh, we can use that uh, in the corresponding and the preceding get preferences calls so that's it we can return the preferences so what I'm going to do is preferences preferences equals new preferences and if it does not fails we will get the the configuration from file and if there is no such file what we are going to do is we will return the default preferences so I hope you got the problem uh, I got the uh, code so uh, first it is initialized with the default preferences and we will read the preferences from file and in case there is no preferences available in the file we will go with the default values and return it to the uh, caller so that's about the get preferences so coming back to the settings loader now settings controller we are going to get a preferences object so preferences preferences equals preferences class dot get preferences so we got the preferences the only thing that is remaining is we have to set this so end days without find dot set text and we will fetch the value string dot value because uh, it, we are storing it as an integer so string dot value of preferences dot get find per day so we are setting the end days without find uh, text field using the preferences stored in the file and we have to do this four times and days without find uh, then we have uh, find per day I I'm sorry this is not get find per day get end days without find get find per day that's okay then we have username we have password so get find per day pass get password get username now let us run the program Uh, settings loader dot java and uh, let's see yeah as you can see the number of days a member can keep the book is 14 and find per day is 2 and the username is there and password is there so thanks for watching this video guys in the next video I will show you how to write the how to update the preferences as we press on the save button so as we uh, suppose if I change it to 5.0 and press save I want to persist the change so we will see that in the next video as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos